Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are fit and fine. So dear students, as you all are aware that we are once again reading all the lessons of term 2. In this series of revision, today we are going to revise poem 5 on Jennifer Stein, written by Adrian Rich. So in this video lesson, with the help of a PPT, we will discuss the complete summary of the lesson, uh, difficult words and their meaning, plot of the poem, theme of the poem, about the author and poetic devices used in this poem. So let's get ready for the same. I'm going to share a PPT. I'm going to show you a PPT on your screen through which we will discuss the complete poem. Let's begin. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrian Rich Adrian Rich 1929-2012 to she was born in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and a theorist. She has published 19 volumes of poetry, three collections of essays, and other writings. A strong resistance of racism and militarism echoes through her work. The poem Aunt Jennifer's Tiger, uh, Tigers addresses the constraints of married life a woman experiences. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers prance across a screen, bright topaz denizens of a world of green. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. When Aunt is dead, her terrified hands will be still ringed with aureoles she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid. This is the whole poem. Now, difficult words and their meanings. Prance means move with high, springy. Topaz means golden colored. Denizens means dwellers. World of green means green forest. Sleek means elegant, glossy. Chivalric means brave, kind, polite, respectful towards women. Wedding band means wedding ring. Audience means painful, unpleasant experiences. Prancing means springing, dancing, moving about. Mood of the poem. Aunt Jennifer is anxious, fearful, sad, and nervous. She is in a state of turmoil because of her husband's dominating, terrifying nature. The poem addresses the con constraints of married life a woman experiences. Aunt Jennifer represents women all across the world. 
who are caught under the oppressive hand of patriarchal society. She is torn between the impulse to freedom and imagination, her tapestry of prancing tigers, and the massive weight of gender roles and expectations symbolized by uncle's wedding band. Aunt Jennifer's tigers reflects the gender struggle the women across the world are subject to. The poet criticizes the male-dominated world. The poem revolves around desires and the depressingly harsh realities of Aunt Jennifer's existence using sharp constraints between the tigers and the saves and her half self. The tiger that she embroiders appeared to be everything that she is not. The tiger's actions are smooth, uninhabited and robust. Aunt Jennifer, on the other hand, has great trouble even embroidering because her movements are so weak and bumbling. Aunt Jennifer is evidently a lonely, pained old woman, plugged with anxiety. The reason for her Miserable plight is the oppressive patriarchal family system wherein uncle dominates the scene. She creates an alternative world of freedom, a world that she pines for. Aunt Jennifer's tigers are Aunt Jennifer's as they are her creation. She has embroidered them on a screen. They are representative of her hidden aspirations and desires. Aunt Jennifer is oppressed by the constraints of her married life and her husband's dominating nature. She feels herself as a slave. She embroiders tigers on the panel because tigers symbolize strength, confidence, fearlessness, freedom and power, which she aspires for. She creates animals so different from her own character to show the bitterness in her married life. To give vent to the suppressed feelings and to show strong resistance to male-dominated society. She wants to get out of the bondage imposed by her, uh, imposed by the uncle. If not, in reality, she at least symbolically she has given an expression for the hidden unfulfilled desires through her tapestry of prancing tiger. This shows that Aunt Jennifer is weak, submissive, meek and scared of expressing her feeling freely. She expresses herself through art and creativity. Poetic devices. 
figures of speech used in this poem alliteration fingers fluttering chivalric certainty prancing proud imagery bright to pass denizens metaphor personification still ringed with aureoles she was mastered by hyperbole the massive weight of uncle's wedding band transfer epithet terrified hands symbolism the symbolism the symbols used in the poem and their interpretations wedding band symbol of operation in an unhappy marriage ringed means encircled or trapped losing individually and freedom and jennifer a typical victim of male operation in an unhappy marriage who suffers loss of individually dignity and personal freedom silently she becomes dependent fearful and frail tigers tigers symbolize untamed free spirit here they are antithesis of their uh, creators personality they pace and prance freely proudly fearless confident and majestic in the in their uh, bearing the use of colors implies that aunt jennifer's tigers and their uh, hand are more vital and uh, enjoy a sense of freedom for greater than her yellow that is bright to pass connotes the sun and uh, fiercy energy while green reminds one of spring and vitality embroidery it is symbol of creative expression the artwork expresses the art jennifer's suppress suppressed desires and becomes her escape from the oppressive reality of her life aunt last stanza as a pose to aunt jennifer it shows that she has lost her ident identity completely thus uh, lost even her name now hypnosis tigers are brave dignified tigers are brave dignified chivalric confident strong courageous and fearless they are brightly colored dwellers of green forest they are sure of the power and strength they possess they pace and prance freely and proudly in an elegant manner they are not scared of men something that aunt jennifer cannot do in her miserable reality because of her operation in looming presence the chivalrous tigers represent everything aunt jennifer desires to be thus the poem opens with aunt jennifer's dream world the tigers of aunt jennifer's embroidery are representative of her free spirit how she pines for freedom from her burdensome husband 
she is expressing the pain through art creating a picture of how she would like her own life to be the second stanza in the reality of aunt jennifer's life she embroiders tigers on a screen her fingers are fluttering to create the beautiful image of the tigers as she is nervous and anxious she finds it difficult to express her feelings freely as she is oppressed by the massive weight of marriage gender roles and a male dominated society uncle's wedding band is symbolic of an oppressive marriage she is finding the needle so hard to pull because she is afraid of her husband's dominating terrifying nature she is under the state of mental suppression because of unhappy married life she lost confidence in herself her difficulty with the needle point represents her inability to express herself in a male dominated society and jennifer will remain caught in the aureoles of her marriage till her death she has no escape even after death in this male dominated society she will not be free from her bondage her suffering will go along with her to her grave she would die as an oppressed and subdued woman but the tigers in the panel which she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid the fearless tigers she created and embodiment of everything she aspired to to be proud fearless and free will live on to immortality it implies that her struggle for freedom for women will continue though the prancing tigers in the panel now uh before yes not before <laughs> let us now uh do these questions the questions i am showing you on your screen you have to take screenshot of these questions and solve them okay these questions must be practiced in your fair notebook read the extract given below and answer the questions that follow aunt jennifer's tigers prance across a screen bright to pass denizens of a world of green they do not fear the men beneath the tree they prance in sleek chivalric certainty so how do denizens and chivalry add to our understanding of the tiger so these are the questions dear students which you must practice in your fair notebook i hope you have taken the screenshot so let me show you some more questions read the extract given below and answer the questions that follow and jennifer's fingers are fluttering through her wool find even ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon her upon aunt jennifer's hand okay these are the questions take the screenshot and must practice 
नेक्स्ट स्टैंडा बेस्ड क्वेश्चन When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with orioles. She now she was mastered by the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid. These are the questions based on. Okay, you must practice. Later, answers to these questions will be. discussed here stand alone questions text based so uh, term 2 is subjective so you uh, uh, you have to write answers to these questions in line in one line at least okay uh, don't practice as you know uh, there is no certainty there is uncertainty so you can practice these questions both way you should do the written practice in subjective form as well as in objective form okay dear students so must take the screenshot next keep taking the screenshots okay and must practice these questions in both ways write answers and also uh, select the correct option showing you the answers that those will be shown later take the screenshot now here short answer type questions go through these questions and their answers but you need to write the answers to these questions in your own words how do aunt jennifer's tigers symbolically represent the conflict between her aspirations and the realities of her life or why does aunt jennifer create animals which were different from her own character Question two: How does the poet advocate gender sensitization in the poem on Jennifer's Tigers? Question three: Who do you think the speaker of the poem on Jennifer's Tigers? Why do you say so? How do denizens and chivalric add our understanding add to our understanding in tigers attitudes why do we think aunt jennifer's hands are fluttering through her wool in the second stanza why is the uh, finding the needle so hard to pull why is she finding the needle so hard to pull how do symbols in the poem on jennifer's tigers help us understand her plight so uh, i hope these questions are enough for this video lessons in the next video lessons we will discuss a few more questions so you must take the screenshot of these questions but don't write the same answer you can read out the answers uh, to get an idea but you should rewrite the answers in your fair notebook in your own words okay so thank you for watching this video and see you tomorrow